morning rush. Alingaw ngaw said, I used to be very sad because I was single. But now that I am but now that I am in a bad relationship, I realize that ironically I was happier when I was sad. <laughs> Get ready for your brains to explode once again. <laughs> Let's start off at number... Okay, we have uh, seven for this hour. From Ellison. My current boyfriend is my second cousin's son. Whoa. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's a Tuesday. Yes, it is. The it's longest day of the week. <laughs> it's back to school Tuesday for most of the students. Oh, yeah. Because yesterday they were off for and today that was declared a holiday, a working holiday, but a non... How do you say that? No school holiday. No school. No classes yeah. now, holiday. And, uh, and strangely, Edsa wasn't really traffic yesterday. It was actually very... Free and Not easy. so bad, right? So well, maybe, I think it worked. Maybe they didn't have. I was expecting, like you know, some concerts, street. Yes, as whatever. we usually do. As we usually do. I think because it's election, um, it might be marred by you know political. Oh, but it's time for that. For word, that too. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it was, it was so easy quiet. driving along Edson. Yes. Okay, so uh, anyway, today is of course the monster movie premiere of. It's, it's complicated. complicated. <laughs> so today, in line with that, yes. our top ten goes. Thank you to Super Jelly for suggesting this. Okay. We are looking for the top ten reasons why, quote unquote, it's, it's complicated. complicated. Whatever, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever that means. Of course, uh, nowadays when you say it's complicated, we refer to relationships. Yes. So you tell us why is your relationship complicated? Why do you label it as? Because usually you're... Or a girl. Or a girl. A girl can be, oh, she's complicated. Or a problem, a situation. A situation. Or a setup. Okay. Like, let's say, uh, like in a relationship, in a house, in an office, like there's a strange setup that you have mm -hmm. going on. So whatever it is, is, we are looking for the top ten reasons why, why it's, it's complicated. complicated. I don't know if they did that on purpose because they have a movie. Or they just happen to star together. Might have been both. Like yeah. one because they star in a movie. Second, it's so unexpected. Yeah. It it's an odd pairing. It's an odd pairing and also to have two hosts. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. And uh, the top ten reasons why, quote unquote, it it's complicated. complicated. Remember, it doesn't just have to be about relationships. No. It can be a very complicated situation, a very complicated human setup. Human being. A complicated human being. Okay. A complicated whatever. All right. So let's start off at number 10 for Mr. Perk. It's complicated because all you want is to be happy, but you don't seem to know what makes you happy. All you know is you want to be happy, but you don't, oh, but know. You don't know how. Yeah, you don't know how. You don't know even know what will make you happy. It's like you want to get somewhere, like let's say an island, <laughs> but you'd have no idea where it is. Yes. It's going to drive you nuts. Mm-hmm. Like, you want to be happy. You, like, for some people, at least they know, I want to be happy by becoming successful. Yes. So you're working hard at being successful. Or being rich. Or having a husband or a wife. Yes. So what you do is you start dating. Mm -hmm. But when you don't know what makes you happy, you got where it. do you start? It's complicated. Right? Yes. Number nine from No Name. It's complicated because he's married with three kids and she's married with two kids. <gasps> so they're married to two people. Yes. Okay. They're both with married children. with children and they're having a relationship. Uh-oh. Mm. Number eight coming from Doc Twos. It's very complicated because my longtime girlfriend refuses to have S-E-X with me. Oh, she's the type who's taken that vow. Mm -hmm. But he, he hasn't. I don't know if it's a vow or you know how some people are just not comfortable with it. It's indefinite. Yeah, yeah it's nothing. It's nothing religious. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, uh, but it's sort of weird because in this day and age, if you're in a long, term. long term relationship, mm -hmm. you sort of. The assumption is you've already. Unless it's it. a religious thing. Yes. But un outside of the religious thing, it's usually common that two grown people. Would have. Of age. Yes. Would have done something. Yeah, consensual. Yeah. If you're not into that, you know, vow of chastity okay. before marriage thing. I wonder if he knows why. Yeah. 
I know that's. I guess that's why it's complicated. Okay. Maybe he's not. He can't. He can't talk to her about he, it. He doesn't understand, or maybe he does know the reason, but he's not comfortable with it. Or he doesn't agree with it. Yeah. Okay. Number seven from Young Indy. Kapag ang mahal mo, may mahal na tomboy. <laughs> Kapag ang mahal mo, may mahal na tomboy. Let's say it's a girl. Yes. Oh yeah. But she's in love with. Or if it's a guy. Who's in love with a with a lesbian? That's that's, that's, a, that's weird. even more complicated. A guy, a straight guy who's in love with a lesbian girl. Yeah, who won't fall in love with him because she's lesbian, but he's in love with her anyway. And the person sending the text is the one who's in love with that guy. Yes, it's complicated. And to take it even a step further, to cap off the bottom half of the top <laughs> ten reasons why it's complicated, comes from Blue Bee. Blue Bee says, if you fell for a lesbian. Who likes a guy who happens to be gay, who has a crush on you? What? Okay, let's say let's say I'm the let's say I'm the guy. Okay. I've fallen in love with you, but you're a lesbian. Okay. But then you're in love with let's say just for the sake of argument, let's say Rico Robles, okay. who happens to be gay, and who hap- <laughs> Sorry, the very thought I of know, it right? makes me laugh. But then <laughs> Rico Robles, who's gay, is in love with me. Okay, so everyone likes the it's other like one. It's like a daisy chain. Yeah, daisy chain. But the only one who's supposed, whose love makes sense is, let's say, the straight guy to the lesbian. Because at least, at least it's a guy who likes a girl. Yes. Because the lesbian... The only problem is, nobody likes, it's like everyone is looking forward, nobody's looking, looking back. Looking back, yeah. Okay. I mean, the lesbian can fall in love with a, with a guy because she's lesbian. Yes. The gay guy won't fall in love with the lesbian because he's gay. Yeah. But then the the straight guy won't fall in love with the gay guy because he's, he's straight. straight. The only problem is is he's in love with, with a, a lesbian gay. who won't fall in love with her. Him. Who's in, with him. Who's in fa- who's really in love with the gay guy but then he's gay so he likes guys so he can't like the I'm lesbian. Getting dizzy. Okay. <laughs> that was the point. Get, <laughs> okay. I'm really getting dizzy. That was the point. That's why it's complicated. complicated. Okay. okay. So now, like kids are probably going, oh, so that's what that's grown-ups what, yeah. mean mm-hmm. when they say it's, it's complicated. complicated. On Facebook, well, before that, Friendster, but on you know, status, okay. it's, it's either like looking for girls, looking for guys. It's, it's complicated. complicated. I think in the movie... Meryl Streep just divorced Alex Baldwin, Alec Baldwin, mm. and going out with Steve Martin. Yes. Only Alec Baldwin wants back in. Yeah, and then she has an affair with her ex-husband. Yeah. That's it's why it's complicated. complicated. Yeah. Let's start off at number five, coming from Bon Ryan. If you're a guy dating a girl, when deep inside, you really want to date a guy. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, because remember, if you're trying to put a charade on, yeah. at some point, you will have to own up that it's a charade, that it's a lie. Yeah, like, it's it's not complicated to be gay. No. It's complicated when you're gay, but you're courting a girl because you when don't want to be gay. When you're trying to hide. Yes. When you're trying to hide. There's nothing, I mean, if you just admit it to yourself and to everybody else, mm-hmm. then it's fine. Yeah. The problem... As it is, it's complicated looking for a partner. Yeah, whether you're straight or gay. Yes, but to make it so difficult by complicating things by going for a gender you're not really interested in. Yes, apparently you feel the pressure to be straight. Mm -hmm. So if you feel that, then the people around you might have certain expectations. Exactly. But then this girl might fall in love with you. Yeah. Her heart might be broken. I know, for sure. Yes. Because even if, even if, let's say, for the sake of argument, that you can go with it all the way and say, okay, I'm not going to be with guys. I'm going to marry this girl. The moment she finds out... It's going to... Yeah, because you you didn't uh, announce it from the very start. Because there are those who marry gay guys, and they know they're marrying gay guys. True. That's okay, because, you know, you know what you're getting into. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, but when it hits you out of left field, that can be difficult. And then you go, it's complicated. It's complicated. Number four from Wikipedia. I'm attracted only to people I know I cannot have. But this is common. This is common, believe it or not. Yes, and and it's like chasing rainbows. Yeah, yes. chasing pavements. Chasing pavements. Yeah, mm. that can be tough. And it's very difficult mm-hmm. because you know it's not going to work. Obviously, since they're with, they're not within your reach, yeah. or they can't return your feelings. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, it's like you want the pain. Yeah, that's tough. And uh, number three for Mariah Fario. This is uh, this is I think something 
a lot of people could probably identify with. You miss him terribly when he's not around, but you feel miserable and empty when he's around. Yes. It's it's a you too. Live I've with or without there. you. I've been there. It's like how. Which is which? I've How come I'm there. miserable when With, he's around, yeah, I'm, but I miss him so much when he's not? Yes. How does that? How is that possible? Mm-hmm. But apparently, it's more common than we than we think. I don't think. I know. Mm-hmm. I know. Number two, coming from Little Glove. I've won over my girlfriend's parents, brothers and sisters, cousins, friends. I've won over everyone except her daughter. The daughter says her mom can only have a boyfriend when she turns 30. When the mom turns 30. Oh. So she's, she's apparently the girlfriend is, is pretty young. And it's hard because if it's a child, mm-hmm. and the mom will probably feel guilty. Yeah. And that's why it's complicated because I've won over everyone except the one most important person, which is my girlfriend's daughter. And she said... I wonder it's, why, though. And it's not even like, I'm trying to win you over. There's a date yeah. that she set. But, you know, it's going to be between the mom and the daughter. Yeah. They, they're going to have to have a talk. A long talk. Hmm. hmm. You know, it's, it's, it's funny when you realize just what situations people are yeah. in. Yeah. That's why I really love this batch. Because when I was uh, checking it out, I was like, who do I make number one? Because they're all, they're all yeah. deliciously complicated. complicated. Not, not for them, but not for us. Not for them, yeah. <laughs> and the number one reason why it's complicated comes from Raven. My live-in partner... Okay, Raven, I think... I'm not sure if Raven is a girl or a guy. But my live-in partner is my aunt's ex-husband. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yeah. So it's like your tito. It's like your tito, right? Right. Well, ex-husband now, so... Still. Yeah. And and uh, the one who's related by blood is the, is the auntie. Yes, so not... So technically, they're not related-related, but... And, and technically, they can. Yeah. And, and once, once they're now separated. ex-husband... Then technically, because even together. if everyone is free legally mm. to to go with whomever they yeah. want, can you imagine the the family gathering? And there was a time when this guy was your tito, the one you're with, your live-in partner. Oh my goodness! That is complicated. complicated. Oh dear me. We did ask for this. Yeah. Okay. And boy, did they deliver. They are delivering. Uh, so here we go. The top 10 reasons why it's complicated. Number 10 from Jin Janeer. If you have to choose between what's right and what makes you happy. Yes, because not everything that makes you happy is, is right. Is right. And sometimes there are things that will make you happy, but will hurt a lot of a people. A lot of people, yeah. And uh, number nine, coming from Bon Ryan. My status is, it's complicated. Pag ugly girl lang nagtatano. <laughs> Single. <laughs> Pag pretty. You're me. Yeah. No, but actually, you have all the right to discriminate. Yeah. Because you are, after all, choosing a mate. Mm-hmm. You know, we all choose according to what we think we want or we need or we think, you know, this is it. And it's not like a club where you can't discriminate because a lot of people can join in. When it comes to your partner, it's only one. Out of the billions of yes. people in the world... Six billion? There's only one slot that, you know, is in your heart. Slot, okay. Slot. S-L-O-T. So, <laughs> you can. You can't choose. Yeah, you can't say, true. sorry, you're not my type. But, yeah, well, you just can't say if they're ugly because who knows? Maybe the one you will fall for is not a looker. And it has happened. Yes. I mean, look at those beautiful Hollywood women. Exactly. Who go for the not-so-dashing mm-hmm. uh, comedians like Anne Bancroft, for example. One of the most beautiful faces in Hollywood ever. And she fell in love with Mel Brooks. Yes. You know, with all due respect to Mel Brooks. Mm-hmm. He's just, you know, he's a funny guy, very smart. He, You know, I laugh at most of his movies Mm -hmm. but he's just not what you think the likes of um, Anne Bancroft would fall for and uh, even the the the, like on the side of the males it's not true that they only always look for the hot women so what do they look for I need to know no I mean look at Mel Gibson's wife apparently I don't appeal to any man no, like, have you seen Mel Gibson's wife? Oh, yes, she yes, She looks yes. very regular. Not ugly, but, but very, very regular. Very average. And Hugh Jackman's wife also looks very regular. Very regular. So, you know, it's not always that. 
So There's more to choosing a partner than just looks. True. Okay. And uh, number, number eight, coming from Louisa DeVette. I didn't go with my family to the U.S. because they are staying with uh, the in-laws. The mom of his 20-year-old uh, lives there. The mom of his 20-year-old, his or her? Of the husband. Okay. Yeah, the husband has a 20-year-old, you know, from another woman, mm. and they're staying in, this, in their house in okay. the state. So she didn't go. Uh, well, understandably. Understandably. Yeah. So, That's hard. Mm -hmm, very difficult. Because I think you would want to go yeah. on vacation with, with your family. family. But if that's where they're staying, and you know, sometimes you have to stay there. And it's not like it's not like you can go and then stay leave the somewhere house. else because yeah. that would be a well. People might take it, you know, the wrong way. And maybe it's like they just wanted to spend some time together. Yeah. Maybe they're still friends. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah. But for me, uh, why don't you go to another state, visit some of your friends, and then when they're done there. Then you meet up. No, for me, the, uh, for me, the, the proper thing is to stay in a hotel. I mean, she is the wife now. That's true, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't see why there needs to be that sort of. I mean, it's just me. Okay. I don't know. Maybe there are other factors, but if that was the only factor, I'd be like, we're staying in a hotel, and then you can still visit. We can still visit. Yes. I'd go with you, but we won't live there. You know, that's why, like the likes of Demi Moore, Ashton Kutcher, and Bruce Willis. They actually made an example out of having it all under control. Yeah. Who says we can't hang out? Mm. Who says I can't be friends with my with my ex's current? Yeah. And I, I just don't see the point where they have to live there, live there. I know. Right? I yes. Mean, it's perfectly acceptable to say, no, no, we'll stay in a hotel. Yeah. We'll hang out I with you. I think everyone will understand. Yes. Even the, the, the in-laws. Because on the husband's side, you have, to, you have to back up your wife. Yeah. You know? You ba have to back your wife yeah. on everything. After all, she mm. is already your wife. I mean, if the point, is, let's say, if I had a wife and she's not going just because of that, then uh, we'll stay in a hotel so everyone can go. That's true. Right? Anyway. But then maybe the, uh, there are other there, things th that there we are don't other understand. Things. Mm -hmm. And uh, number seven coming from Tecla. If you're drooling over your mom's hot young boyfriend... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's a mess. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's, that's going a to be mess. messy. That's like a bleep waiting to hit the oh, fan. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Forget that. Mm -hmm. And the entry that caps off the bottom half of the top ten reasons why it's complicated comes from R.C. and Seth. He says, If your girlfriend is the daughter of your soon-to-be stepfather. Whew, wait a minute. I can't follow you. Your if mom's your about to marry a guy. Remarry. Right. Okay, your mom's about to remarry. Yes, and this guy has, has a, daughter. a daughter. That's your girlfriend. This is complicated. So she will technically become your, your sister. sister. And she's your girlfriend. But that's not really frowned on. Because it's, you know, it's by marriage. It's, it's perfectly fine for, let's say... You're not related by blood. For mom and stepfather to be together and you and the daughter to be together. It's perfectly fine. It's just kind of weird. Don't you just want a simple life? Well, <laughs> it's complicated. complicated. Sometimes, yeah. although we may want it all yeah. simple, it doesn't just happen that way for us. And life is, life is probably saying, who says? How, I it's thought supposed to be simple. I thought you were going to say, you know, life is a box of chocolates. You never know what you're, you're going to get. get. That too. <laughs> that too. All right. So uh, the top ten reasons why it's complicated, I swear, I have so many entries and they're all good and I don't know how to squeeze everything in. Apparently, people are living very complicated lives. Apparently, the, the number six entry is the plot for Gossip Girl. Thank you, Drew. Oh, which one? The, the stepmom. I think that's uh, Penn Badgley. Oh. Yeah, right? Okay, okay. Maybe. I don't, yes. I don't watch it at yeah, all. I don't follow it anymore, but yeah. Okay. Wow. Whew. Okay, so there you go. That's what we're doing today. The top ten signs that it's complicated. Mm -hmm. It's so complicated. Mm -hmm. It's really complicated. It is. And <laughs> you know <laughs> that what? That didn't make sense. Because I'm already um, doing... You're already weird? No. Strange? I already Crazy? have entries for the fourth hour. That's how busy it is today. And it's not it's not just busy. We really, really, really get a peek at how complicated other people's lives are. I know. I'm shocked. I mean, in a good way and in a bad way. I mean, I just didn't think that people were Maybe going to Maybe you just so led us a very sheltered life. Yeah. No, not, not, it's not sheltered. Relatively simple. Relatively simple. Because I've... 
I've had my share of... <laughs> but I think compared to other people, it's pretty yeah. sheltered. Mm-hmm. And I swear. Okay, I'll just let you, let the entries well, okay. speak for themselves. All right, okay? all right. Number five from No Name. This is, uh, this is the simplest one. I don't know if I really miss him, or maybe I just miss the feeling of having a boyfriend. Oh. Because it, it could get confusing. Okay. God, I hate saying this. <clears throat> I miss it. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes you don't know because you, you start to focus the... on one ex. Yes. And then you're like, huh? wait a minute, am I missing my ex? ex, ex? Or just having or, you someone know, what there. Or we had before and, you know, having someone there and, you know, having a boyfriend. That might be yeah. difficult to separate the two. You mo- know what it is? I think life is a little too hard to live through it alone. Yeah. Funny. That was something that I was... Our column for tomorrow. I said that. We you said that? Yeah. You stole my words? Yeah. I said that. Yeah. It's a nice... It's a very... I, I also... It's a great problem <clears throat> tomorrow. I mean, not that it's great having that problem, but it's something that needs to be thought of. Yeah. And I'm not anyway, saying... Anyway, okay. The, I'm the not column- saying that... that you know, you have to be in a relationship with someone. But what I what I was saying was, journeying through life alone... It's hard! You know, might be on paper easy, but it's not full. It's like you didn't live... <laughs> Ouch! Didn't. No, no. Beep, I'm, beep! No, I'm not talking about relationships. I'm talking about journeying alone, alone yes, without having people around. Okay, people yeah. don't know why. Okay. okay. The column tomorrow um, at the Manila Bulletin has to do with a dad um, asking his son... To okay, take care of him. To take care of him. Six years ago, the mom had died of cancer. Yeah. And uh, six years ago, the dad was like, you know, son, go out there. You deserve to live your life. Um, don't let it pass you by. Make sure that you make the best out of it. Now, six years after... He, I mean, Letter Sender wants to... To go out go there. Go for his mm-hmm, dreams. Mm-hmm. But then he can't do that. At because least he feels he can't do that. Because, because the dad is, is has like, changed his tune. Yes, it's like, please take care of me. Yeah. I need you right I now. I need you. I need you. So therefore, well, one of the things that, that, well, you had that said. I said was that, uh, true, it would be easier without having people latching on to you, which may seem like a burden, but a life lived alone, I mean literally alone, without people there, may be easier. But it's not full. May be lighter. But it's not full. It's like you didn't live your life to the fullest. Well, then, they're not going to read the column anymore. No, but we said more. Much, much more than that. That's just one <laughs> statement. <laughs> I'm just speaking my No, but it's really... It <laughs> was kidding. It was the one one letter that I really, really enjoyed answering. I, I, what I said was, you mm-hmm. have to understand where your father is coming from. Mm-hmm. Fathers will say weird things when they're in their 30s, 40s. Yeah. Or when they're in their 60s and 70s. They will change their minds. You know why? It's the first time they're that old. True. My father's singing a different tune. <laughs> Isn't He's he dead? dead. <laughs> so, he could, don't do that. We're what? serious. I am serious too. I bet he sing other stuff. No, what I mean to say is, even like me, I'm not that old. Mm-hmm. But I used to say different things when I was in my 20s. True. You know, there are you learn about life at every stage. Mm-hmm. It's six. So most likely next year I'll sing a different. I hope not, but I'll have a different perspective on life. It you, it just changes as you get older. So now that I've said what I wrote and you said what you wrote, they really don't need to read the column. Yeah, don't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we said more. We said more. We said more. We did. And uh, number four, coming from <laughs> Salty, I'm in love with a separated man, but who still lives with his ex and their kid. They still live in the same house. Same but house. Everyone's like, no, we're really separated. We just can't live in separate houses because, you know, financially. But how weird is that? Like, you can't go to their house because it's going to be very awkward. Mm-hmm. Set your set your house in order. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. fix everything. Number three from Oscar de la Hopia. And something similar from Acer, but we're using Oscar's entry. Kasi... Siya yung pamangkin ng tita ko na kumari ng ninang ng ate kong syota ng tambay sa kanto na kabit ng kapitbahay naming adik. I don't even <laughs> want to get into it. I'm sorry. I'm usually patient. But I just don't have the time. No? No. But, uh, let's, no, let's, leave it. Let's try to train leave it. Leave it. Pamangkin ng tita <laughs> You know, what? they're just trying to get our They're code. so naughty. Yeah, you guys are bad. Number two, from Flo. You know how we tease them? What? The listeners yeah. sometimes. 
They do it back. I know. It's like a boomerang. And uh, from Flo Les at number two. This one is very unique because she she enumerated what's what makes it complicated. Okay. Number one, we're both girls. Mm-hmm. Number two, we're both in the closet. Mm-hmm. Number three, we have an eight-year gap. Mm-hmm. Number four, she's my student. <sighs> four reasons why it's complicated. I think the first one, you're both girls. It's not that That's complicated. Not, yeah. I mean, it just it means ha- you're gay. Yeah, it just means you're gay. Mm-hmm. Although the gay life is a lot more complicated than a straight life, it but is. that's just it suffers by comparison. Mm-hmm. But my gosh, everything else after that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the number one reason why it's complicated comes from. All right, Mariah Cario. If you've been living together for three years. But when you make love and try to kiss him, he says, Wugs the lips. What? Yeah. Can you imagine that? You're in your most tender intimate. moment. Yeah. Most intimate. And then he goes, Wugs the hips. <laughs> oh, Wugs the hips. Wugs the lips. <laughs> there goes the line. Wugs the hips. Yeah. Why? Hips don't lie. <laughs> Oh, okay. A little to the left. <laughs> to the left. <laughs> oh, uh, Gio. We lo- just lost the mood. <laughs> you got lousy aim. <laughs> Wugs the hips. <laughs> no, works the lips. <laughs> lousy no. aim. <laughs> Did you actually say lousy aim? <laughs> Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And you know how? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> I know what you're going for. What? What? Um. What? What okay. were you going to say? We lost the mood. No, I mean, it's like, your fault. It's kind of weird if you've been together for three years and he still won't let you kiss him on the lips. I mean, obviously this is like a gay thing, mm-hmm. but maybe it's not a relationship. Relationship might be the breath. I don't think so. I'm thinking more like maybe it's uh, like he's he. You know how like some men, gay men, think I'm not gay until I kiss someone on the lips, and um, until I kiss another man on the lips. Isn't but that everything the else, thing? but every every other body part can be okay. gay except the mouth. Because you know how like how some men are like, look, you know, sex is just sex, and if you do certain things to certain parts, it will react in a certain way. But the moment you start Stop. kissing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a depraved woman. Depraved? Deprived. I'm sorry. <laughs> deprived. <laughs> deprived is what I meant. It's yeah. not like <laughs> deprived. You're a little too, you're a little too you hard on I, yourself. <laughs> you know what? what? Sorry. I know, I know people are going to go, why is it about you again? No, I'm just saying. Women my age are having SEX. With their husbands. And you? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and you? And that wraps up our morning rush top ten. That's gonna do it. Oh, woo, woo, woo. congratulations, Mariah <laughs> Cardo. Okay, here we go. And you, Del? What about you? And so. And uh, hi. <laughs> I feel naked. <laughs> I feel so naked. Actually, I'm I'm looking at you. I can see you sitting there with your clothes on, but for some strange reason, you have a feeling I'm naked I, too. I, I'm looking at a naked woman right now. Why do I say these things? Shouldn't they just be in my head, like an inner thought? It has to be inside my brain. There has to be some line that cannot be crossed, even if you are on the radio. I'm berating myself because yeah. <laughs> I just feel so naked. But it's so much fun. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm glad I entertain you. So me and uh, the naked woman right here will be right. <laughs> this emotionally naked woman right here <laughs> will be right back, and I uh, I promise I'll be just as naked next time. You know what? Mm-hmm. I'm Nahihi up. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our top ten for today, sent in by Super Jelly. The top ten reasons why it's complicated. complicated. Let's start off at number ten from Nat. If two bisexuals got together, a bisexual guy and a bisexual girl, because the guy also likes other guys and the girl also likes other girls. So if they both go to a party, they will be both looking at both guys and girls. I'm lost. (laughs) 
But I think it's exactly what they deserve. Exactly. Because I would just think no one can I can understand a bisexual other than another bisexual. Because if it's a straight girl, a straight guy, a gay guy, gay girl, mm -hmm. then they would have problems understanding the need or your tendency to like both men both and women. Genders, yeah. <clears throat> Goodness. It's hard to wrap your mind around it. The mm -hmm. idea. It really right? is. Right? And uh, number nine from uh, Tecla. I. No, sorry. <clears throat> He chose me. I told him to go back to her. Now, I want him back. Oh. <clears throat> yes. I mean, he happened. already chose you. You told him, no, go back to her. And then once he did, you're like, okay, now I want you back. Well, say your piece. Yikes. Okay, Call that's him. difficult. Yeah. <clears throat> Number eight, but he, he'll he find you so good. Though. Well, you are. Yeah. And I think he, <clears throat> he deserves to know that. Yeah. Number eight, coming from Nemo Tastic. Pag in love ka sa babaeng nakilala mo sa kahabaan ng Quezon Am. <laughs> I'm sure it has happened. But I must say, it will be very complicated. Yeah. Because usually when you fall in love with somebody like that, I'm sure they are just more, they're more than glad to give that life up. But the moment you transition, it's going to be very tricky. Yeah, you're going to wonder about many things. <clears throat> and, uh, and people will know eventually. Mm -hmm. Family, friends, and that might, might be a little uncomfortable for everyone concerned. I think the love has to be really great. Strong. Extra, strong. extra strong. Out of this world. <clears throat> yeah. For you to be able to carry that off. Because there's a lot of muck mm -hmm. that goes with that kind of love. And especially words that rhyme with muck. <laughs> that went on. <laughs> Come on. No, I mean, like truck. Especially if you're walking along Kazan Ave. You see a lot of trucks and you would have inhaled Good a lot Good save! Of Good save! <laughs> right? Yes. I panicked there Brilliant. for a while. Brilliant! Brilliant. I panicked. Yeah. You know, you've got your bursts of genius mm -hmm. here and there. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly there. <laughs> and uh, number seven coming from Life Pops. It would be very complicated if you hate yourself for loving someone. Yes. It means you... Sorry, I'm exasperated. Why? Why? Because the complications. <clears throat> yeah, it's true. Whoever prepared us for a life of complication. It's not in any fairy tale. So we grow up believing one thing. Princes and Prince Charmings and damsels in distress. And then what does life give you? This. Yeah. Complication. You know, when you find yourself going, why? Why did life turn out this way? No, I think it's... Everyone saying the same thing. I think it's not so much that we shouldn't read stories or fairy tales. It's that we have to tell the kids, it's just a story. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always turn out this way. The problem is when way. we believe that that's what's going to happen to us. Yeah. Because, I mean, what, what's, a, what's a fairy tale? It's just another story. Mm -hmm. You can say, well, what about comic books? Or what about whatever? Any other kind of, of story. I think the it's accurate to, to show the, the skeleton of the story. But fairy tales are basically stories stripped of the realities. You know, that's it's why, a, you know... like You a, know what it is? It's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's like saying, okay, boy meets girl and they live happily ever after. Things like that happen in real life. But what you don't, what you miss out on... Is what it is takes. Is the hard stuff. And what it takes to live that the happy life. The everyday, the everyday grind, the everyday struggle to stay together, blah, blah, blah. That's the part that is missed by the fairy tale. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you miss that out and you grew up and you wean yourself on those things... Yes. It might be difficult when the reality hits you. I was just thinking, you know, what separates a fairy tale from any other story that's pure fiction? Nothing, except that in fairy tales, little girls tend to believe that's exactly what's going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. And especially that, and they lived happily ever after. It's really hurtful because... You say, because of one event, everything will be good after that. After that. All there. it takes is for, let's say, Prince Charming to, to fall in love with you. Slip, uh, you know, a glass slipper on your foot, and you will forever be great. So you grow up thinking, if I find my Prince Charming, everything it, will be your, perfect. Yeah, your happiness now hinges on that, on that one, one moment, detail. Whatever that is. Yeah, whether it's, it's Prince Charming kissing Snow White or, out of her sleep. Or Hansel and Gretel finding their way back home. Yes. 
it's never as simple as that. Sometimes you go back, Hansel and Gretel goes back to a home that has been broken. Since, or, or Hansel and left. Gretel go home with diabetes. Yeah. So, I don't know. You know, it's that sort of thing. <laughs> yes. I mean, and when the wolf tells Little Red Riding Hood the better to eat you with, he may That's not, not what he meant. <laughs> he might have meant something less in, less appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> a little on the taboo uh, side. Uh-huh. After all, he was a wolf. I she know. was a little girl. Exactly. Never mind the pedophilia. No, a wolf and drag. See, it's complicated. Mm-hmm. Number <laughs> six. And the entry that caps off the bottom half of the top ten reasons why it's complicated comes from uh, Gurgle. Gurgle says, If you find out that you are your father's child from your mom's sister. Yes. And because it was an affair with a sister of your wife, you decide that we will raise this kid as if <laughs> he they were mine. ours. Yeah. And that's very difficult because um, it's the grown-ups that made the mistake. Made the mistake. But there you are in the middle of it, and you're just going to have to... It's not like you can disown your parents. But you well, know you what? can divorce them legally. No, like... Personally, I know about two or three cases of this already. So I, it happens yeah, more, more often, often than, than we think. think. You yes. know, like they were actually the children of... The sibling. The something, and then, yeah. you know, they decide to raise the child as somebody else's Or kid. what I know, what I heard is um, a girl gets pregnant. She's a little too young. So her parents adopted her child and was brought up thinking she was the sister yes. of her son. Yes. This is so complicated. It's so complicated, right? <laughs> all right, all but, right, I mean, all right. That, I mean, that's how it is. Okay. So that's what we're doing today. The top ten reasons why it's, it's complicated. complicated. Remember the top ten, I mean, uh, the monster movie premiere tonight happens at Greenbelt 3 Cinema 1. Hot Hard Chicos. The Morning Rush. <laughs> top ten. Monster Radio RX 93.1 and time for the top 10 for today. Thank you to Super Jelly for uh, texting this in. The top 10 signs or reasons why it's It's complicated. complicated. Remember, tonight is the monster movie premiere of It's Complicated happening at Greenbelt 3 Cinema 1. Okay. All right. uh, The top half of the top 10 reasons why it's complicated. Number five from RC and Sess. His stepbrother is the husband of his aunt. His stepbrother is the husband of his aunt. How did that happen? His stepbrother... (laughs) It's just getting crazy. ...is the husband of his aunt. So he's both brother and uncle. His stepbrother... Is the <laughs> husband of his aunt. Okay, I get Folks, it. Folks, his eyes were No, closed. no, I get it, I get it. Okay. So he has, let's say, uh, uh, a dad, but no mom. Now the dad remarries. Now the mom, the stepmom, has a son. That's your stepbrother. But then the dad's sister ends up marrying him, the stepson. I really don't care at that point. <laughs> You've got the loss. It's just too yeah. It's too much. Number four. <laughs> this is simpler. From no name. My dad's mistress hmm. is one of my barcada. <gasps> oh. And it gets really awkward. Oh. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's, that's weird. That's a little too close for comfort. That is weird. That is weird. I remember they're your friends. Mm. Yeah. And you're supposed but to... But then... You're supposed to resent whoever... Where, your father's having an affair with. I mean, it's bad enough your father's having an affair. Yeah. But if he's having an affair with, with your, your friend. friend. Oh, not so only weird. does he s- spoil the relationship with his family, but also the friendship yeah. that his daughter has. And can you imagine if your barcada would of suddenly. Cuts both ways. Your barcada will bring her boyfriend to an event. It's like, guys, meet my boyfriend. And, and it's, it's your, your dad. dad. That is the, the weirdest thing. Oh, my goodness. Number three, coming from Doggy Masta. My dad's third wife is my best friend's ex. They broke up because of my dad. So, oh. imagine you have a best friend. Who's a guy. Who's a guy. Yes. And then he has, he an has, ex. A, gr- he has a girlfriend. Yeah. They broke up because your dad got into the picture. And now, the dad and your best friend's ex are together. Oh, my God. 
gosh. What are people doing? Right? That yeah, is so what weird. What are they doing? Number two from PB. Um. Okay. <laughs> huh. Yes, you can do okay, it. Okay, PB has a friend, a girl. Okay. Now the friend has a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. So they're she's lesbian. So the lesbian friend has a girlfriend, but the girlfriend is married and has kids. Mm-hmm. And who is the husband of the girlfriend? The lesbian squia. I'm, I'm, I can't follow anymore. Okay, the, the, the lesbian, let's yeah. give her a name. Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> let's say Leslie is Leslie a lesbian. Is a lesbian. lesbian. Okay, Leslie okay. has a girlfriend. All right. Girlie. <laughs> now, Girlie is married to Leslie's brother. <gasps> With kids. I still don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just know it's complicated. <laughs> At this point, I'm so traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> By the connection, I'm traumatized already. Leslie has a brother. Let's let's name him Bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then her girlfriend, Girlie, is married to Bro. They have kids together, but le- yeah. So she got it on with, with her, her brother's, brother's wife. wife. A lesbian relationship with her brother's wife. Good grief! That is so weird. I enough people on this planet yeah are there more than six billion can mm-hmm. we find somebody outside that is so weird you know that's why in the animal kingdom they really go outside of their group otherwise it's going to be complicated <laughs> really? Except, unless you're a lion yes but i think there it's accepted because uh you can have but inbreeding is also scary it is recessive Even genes with will dogs. start to come out you cannot mate uh let's say like cousins up mm-hmm. to the cousin level you, you can because they'll grow up very unstable yeah yeah even with dogs and the number one reason why it's complicated comes from Loi Poggi Loi Poggi says it's really juicy because it's a true story and it's about a former young actress <gasps> okay okay a former young actress uh, has a lot of hunky suitors but the thing is her dad, they have to go through her dad. He chooses which one gets to court her. A very overprotective dad, okay? Mm-hmm. He gets to choose who courts the pretty daughter. Now, here's the thing. The catch, the dad's gay. So he's choosing... Oh, my gosh. His type to go out with his daughter. <laughs> this is so oh, freaky. No. Yeah. It's just so, so complicated. So the gay dad is the one choosing which hot hunk gets to date his daughter. We're not even asking how did the gay dad manage to get a daughter. Exactly. Because then he would have probably, I'm just assuming, deceived a woman. And can you imagine what is the screening process? <laughs> Take off your shirt. <laughs> kind of weird. Right? It's just not. This is no. It's just really strange. Multiple levels of wrong. <laughs> I know. Right? No, wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I mean, right, wrong. Saying right to the wrong. Not that it's right, but you're going right. But it's but wrong. it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> is it complicated yeah, enough for you folks? It's complicated. Have we driven the point enough? <sighs> Have we done an overkill today? Have we hammered the nail on the coffin? Is it time to lower the corpse to the ground? Is it time to get my shovel and start digging? No, it's time to wrap up the top ten. Okay, the top ten reasons why. (laughs) So who won? Complicated. Starring Meryl Streep, Alec Alec Baldwin, Baldwin, and Steve Martin. And showing at Greenbelt 3, Cinema 1, that's our monster movie premiere. Yeah, so we hope if you've got tickets, you will be joining us. And please get there on time. I know. You know, always, if you want want the best seats in the house, you have to come early. But, of course, Super Jelly is to blame for us getting confused today (laughs) because it's all about being complicated. I know. Number ten from Abernathy. When your dad's girl friend is younger than your own yes if his girlfriend is okay, younger father and son yeah both have girlfriends yes but the father's girlfriend is younger than the son's girlfriend you know what's difficult when the parent is the parent who has a younger love 
is of the opposite sex. For instance, if you're a guy and then your mom has a boyfriend your age, yes. it's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're like, goodness, you could be my classmate. Well, the understanding is, the reason why this is all so complicated is your parents are not supposed to be free and available anymore by the yes. time they have you. And especially not hooking up with somebody young your enough to age, be yes, their children. Their children, yeah. Number nine from Furtive Attic. When you are in love with someone who makes you forget what love means, then it becomes very complicated. Why Why do they make you forget what love means? Maybe because it's They're difficult? traumatic. Maybe because it didn't turn out right. Maybe because they make you miserable. So it's difficult when you're when you fall in love with somebody like that. Yeah. Because supposedly, you know, you're all googly eyes and all like, oh, love feels so good, and you know, love nourishes me. If that doesn't happen, there's this dissonance. Like, why a disconnect? Do I, a disconnect. Number eight from No Name. I asked my ask my I asked my aunt. Huh, 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 huh. <laughs> <laughs> no name says. <laughs> Sorry. That's just the most unglamorous thing I have ever heard yeah, on the radio. <laughs> really? I feel I feel so special. <laughs> my ex-boyfriend. I asked my ex-boyfriend why we fell apart. And he just told me this one sentence. Great love paired with great differences. It's not that you don't love each other. You do. But the differences are I just hear as you loud great. and clear. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean, we're not always so lucky as to find someone we love who can get along with us. I mean, I wish I wish that were the case. It would yeah. be easy. But it's not. Some of us will fall in love with people we don't get along with. Mm -hmm. And although there is great love, there is great conflict. Yeah. And you want to be together, but it's, it's it hurts to be together. Mm -hmm. You don't understand each other. You, it's one thing to fall in love; it's another to stay together. And the romantic notion is that you know, love conquers all. Whatever the difference is, baloney. As long as <laughs> the love is great, it can you know, it can no, but manage. But I think there are love stories that are like that. Mm -hmm. But there are stories as well that are not. I think whichever. You need to know which one you are. I think whichever is greater. Obviously, you would have a great love, and then you would have the great differences. In my opinion, whichever is greater rules. So if the love is greater, then you overcome it. If the differences are greater, then you don't. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Number... But see, that's the thing that makes this hard. It's already complicated, but what makes it difficult is you have to let go of something you would like to keep. Yes. But you know it's not wise. Mm -hmm. But your heart says stay. Your mind says go. go. Yeah. Number seven from Martyr Scorsese. If your father falls in love with your teacher, but your teacher fell in love with you, and your mom used to be your teacher's teacher. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. It's like it's like the gods played with them. It's so it's so complex. So the father fell in love with, with, with his wife's former student, who's yes. now the teacher, teacher of, of his, son. his son. But then that teacher, teacher is fell in love with, with his, his son. son. Are you guys okay out there? <laughs> You can see, you can see our listeners like you know those like in cartoons those, those little twirly cool, things yeah. in, the, in the eyes. Sorry guys, uh, we didn't know that it was going to be this kind of Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. But it are you guys unexpected. okay? We need to know you're fine out I there. I think I think we stayed true to the very definition of the word complicated. complicated. And the entry that caps off the bottom half of the top ten reasons why it's complicated comes from Paul Jeffrey. Paul Jeffrey says, "True story, my friend." ended up having a relationship with her stepfather after her mom died. Well, I think that's... Although it's not... It still feels iffy. I think that's possible. Biologically, it's not incest. Mm. Biologically. Because if it's a stepfather... It then he has no relation... No relation with to... With yeah. the daughter of his... Of his fallen wife. Yes. Yes. But, of course, there was a time when the mom was still alive that you called this man dad. That's the that's the part that becomes very... Okay. Right? I'm getting very uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Yeah, huh? You know, I never thought complicated was this complicated. <laughs> I thought complicated was simple. 
But no. No. It's complicated. It's really complicated. You know, by the time you watch the movie, you'll go, oh, it's so simple. <laughs> well, it's like, what's complicated about that? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Get ready for your brains to explode once again. <laughs> Let's start off at number... Okay, we have uh, seven for this hour. From Ellison. My current boyfriend is my second cousin's son. Whoa. Yeah. My current boyfriend is my second cousin. So that's your second nephew? Is that what you call it? Yes. Second nephew. If that's your second cousin and he had a son, then that's your second nephew? Yeah. I don't think there's even a term for it. No, I think... um, Are those twice removed? Yeah, that's the same thing. Twice removed and second cousin means you have um, two levels of common... Uh, like not ancestors. What do you call that? Like uh, yeah, generations. Yes. Yeah. Two common, two levels of common. Like uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> I'm, I'm already getting. I'm I'm reaching that point where I'm trying to. I'm. I think I'm giving up. <laughs> I think. Number six from Bon Ryan. If you and your mom are both secretly fooling around with a houseboy. <gasps> Is this what's happening? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it, it happened to a I hope or it's something. fictional. Hopefully. It's not real. Hopefully. Goodness me. Number five, coming from Chasen. When your younger sister gets pregnant with your husband's baby and you can't throw her out because she's your sister. Mm. And she has no choice because, she, because the younger sister lives with, with them, with a couple. So it's like... It happened under the very roof. Yes. And you have to raise... Not the, only the, you know, support your, your sister, the child, yeah. remembering you, that you, this was an act of infidelity. Yes. And you have to raise the child who will become your nephew slash son. Or Stepson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Mm-hmm. I think asking a woman to understand all that... <laughs> That's... That's, That's big. too That's much. That's huge. If she does understand, mm-hmm. count your lucky stars. Mm-hmm. And she's a gr- she's a great wife and sister. Sister, wow. And uh, well, supposedly the setup is that the sister is still living with them Whoa. and the kid. Number four coming from Ryugi Ryugi Nomia. Pag pinakasalan ni Itay yung dalagin na anak ng biudang pinakasalan ko. So as it is, as it was, tongues were wagging because a young man married, married a, widow, a widow, a widow. Yes. But then she has a young daughter who married who the, the dad. dad might end up marrying eventually. When does life get this? Quick? I know. <laughs> Yikes! Like, can you imagine? Look, like for instance, let's say we're both the same age. We're a bit on the elderly side, and we both have kids. Mm-hmm. You have uh, you have a daughter. I have a son, and then you end up with my son, and I end up with your daughter. Yeah, that's exactly how it will be. Yeah, right? It's going to be so weird. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, number three. Not that the people are evil. No, 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 no. It's the it's the situation. It's just the situation because it's so. Far from what we are usually comfortable with. Yes. And Only which because it's be, different. You know, the normal course of yeah. things. Yikes. Number three, coming from Man Unmasked. If the best sex you ever had is with your wife's best friend, who happens to be the fiancé of the best man at your wedding. <laughs> well, in the first place. You shouldn't have had sex with her. Exactly. So that you didn't have to discover li- yes, that, that she, she was, was the, the best. best. Mm. Number two, coming from... Sometimes it's the best because it's forbidden. Yeah. Let's face it. But sometimes it's because they're really good. good. (laughs) (laughs) You have to So we don't really have answers for you today. There are people who are just so good. Mm. I got lost there for a while. Awkward silence. Yes, I know. Number two, from A and 17. If your boyfriend's wife is good friends with you, and she has no idea that the other woman she's been suspecting for years is the very guest who frequents their home. Mm-hmm. That's tough. Having to be friends with a woman you're 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 betraying. She doesn't know. She doesn't know. And here you are being like the best friend. You know, we just go back to that old Filipino saying. Mm-hmm. My ipot sa ulo. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Naglalakad na may ipot sa ulo. Everybody else can see there's some there's this gross thing on top of your head. Everyone sees it except you. Except you, and it's people are making a fool of you. It's like Pinoy Henyo. Only instead of a question, there's poop. <laughs> All right, like everybody sees it except you. It's on your yeah, forehead. That's true. So it's kind of weird. <laughs> and but to end, the number one reason why it's complicated comes from. Alingao ngao. Alingao ngao says. So before we give Alingao ngao's entry, Alingao ngao, since you won, could you please text? Uh, uh, could you please text us right now your full name so we can put it on the winner's list? All right. All right. Alingao ngao said, "I used to be very sad because I was single, but now that I am, but now that I am in a bad relationship, I realize that ironically, I was happier when I was sad." <laughs> well, you can How so ironic. Why don't you get out of it? Mm-hmm. Well, probably will eventually. But it's just so it's ironic. It's the realization that it hardly matters whether you're with someone or without. Yes, yes. And it's just this the way. It's too grown up a show. And the way it was just uh, worded. That yeah. ironically, I was happier when, when I, I was, was sad. sad. Whoa. But beautiful though, beautifully yes. And since we have your numbers there on the side, we already know. But your full names, please. Yes, please. Okay. What about us? Oh, okay. Um. Ooh. Hmm. I'll go. Okay, please. That it's it's similar to Alingao Ngao's entry. Only you understand. It's just choosing the kind of lonely you can live with. Because you can be lonely in a relationship, mm-hmm. you can be lonely on your own, mm-hmm. but you just have to choose which one you can live with. The it's lesser like, of two evils. It's like lonely is independent of whether you're with who someone you're with, or not. Because yeah. on paper you might be with someone who's so great, but you're miserable every day of your life. I agree. You have no idea how to live like that. Because on paper everyone says, "Hey, you're taken." Yeah. Hey, it looks like you know you met your match, la la la, and then. Deep down, you know it's just not right. Something's not right. Okay, me. This is a very new concept that apparently is happening. Um, you know, nowadays, the concept of the third. You know, couples who invite a third, and you're not like a couple. Like Eric Dane. Yeah, it's like there are three and of Rebecca you. Gamer. And Rebecca But we're not talking about like a like a threesome. I'm talking as part of the relationship. Instead of two people, there will be three of you. It usually Tyra did a, an episode on that, r- right? Yeah. I mean, apparently it's happening a lot in the in the U.S. So it's like it starts off with a couple, and then they choose a third, and they're called a third. Okay, okay. So the concept of that, I think, is just way too complicated. It's just too much. I don't know why you would want one to do man, that. one woman is hard enough to deal with. Mm-hmm. Imagine two. Okay. No, a- apparently, it happens very often, more often in the gay world because they're all the same, same gender, sense. so it's yeah. easier. Okay. A little bit. Okay. All right. Well, we hope you grab your paracetamol <laughs> after this.